Tuesday, December 3, 2019. And this is 1.45 p.m. Earlier on this morning, I went through these colonies here and regularized all man jack. So what we're looking at here now is the orientation flight of this colony. What I did was I went through and took off all these supers which had honey in it. This honey is from the soap vine. If you notice what we have here, oh, we have another colony here orienting as well. They now start. Yeah, man. So everybody, all these colonies here now are regularized, except for these nooks on this side. Well, not the nook now. They're not a nook anymore. I have one, two, three, three supers to put on these colonies here. And when I extract that honey, I'll be able to put the empty supers on these colonies here. Of course, yes, man. Look, we have corn. The corn ready here. Yeah. I went in there just now and I was able to do a little, a little sapphire and check out this now. Nice corn boy. Yeah, I'm going to make a boil. Actually, I don't boil corn. Eh? I just steam corn. So you get all the nice flavor staying in the corn. Especially when these bees work so hard to pollinate it and make it nice and sweet for me. I'm not going to boil off all that water and throw it away. What we have here? A little bug. Where are you going, girl? Yeah, so back to you now. Yeah, so I was able to go through these colonies, regularize everybody for the next batch of so vine nectar, which will be turned into honey for me. And these bees ready to go and do that job. So I did it before the orientation. I was here like around 12.45. And I went through and do all of that so that the bees will be in time for the orientation. Everything is about timing, you know. Nutrition, taking care of them pests and disease, timing, the health of the bees, you know, make sure everything in order. So everybody have their work cut out for them now. I myself, I have my work cut out for me too with these um, supers that I have to go and extract now or in the morning because after I do that all that manipulating there with those bees I'm pretty tired you know so let's go and take a look at the honeys to be extracted so hold on there okay partly ways there let me come inside here all right so here we are in the honey room honey extraction room and uh, I have what one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine boxes here ready to extract. Let me see. Let me show you what's going on inside some of these boxes. You see, right now what we have is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten frames. And when you put in ten frames in the hive, this is what you just get. You just get them building out this foundation. And when they do the honey on it, it comes out a bit thin. It's too close the top and bottom bar. So that makes extracting this honey a little bit more intense. Now you have to put a little more work in it to get this honey out. Using the, the knife to, to cut it out. And you know, I'll demonstrate that for you in a, in a timing. Right, so... What I would usually do, instead of putting 10 frames inside the box, I'll put 9. <coughs> this thing heavy, boy. So that makes it easier. 3 and 3, 6 and 3, 9. That makes it easier for me to extract the honey now. see all this 
soup vine honey you see when you put nine you see you see how right here it's a little raised off the the top banana and bottom bar so you could cut off that day really nice and easy and you'll be able to extract it better too let me see what this this other one here has in it whoa we got some weight okay so this is what i'm talking about when we when i put nine frames to garden for the, the bees to gather and store the honey it comes out fat like that so it will be real easy to extract to cut it out but when it come out not it, when you put nine frame and it come out thin you have a bit of a, a problem there I look another one over on this side here you see that look how fat that is there so it makes it easy for the, the knife to, to cut through that see what we have on this side here we have a nice fat one here too okay you see there you go you see all down all the honeys seal up i'm not extracting on seal honey you know seal honey see that everybody seal right through see that right down inside everybody seal up okay so here's the thing the thumbs up will be real nice i will use that as thanks for watching and you know some of you may not be familiar but you will need to subscribe too click on that red word down in the bottom of your screen there as you're looking at this video which says subscribe and right next to it will have a little bell so you click on the bell every time i do a new video it will come to you directly in your mailbox all these goodies all these goodies videos good bees videos i always call them good bees videos will come to you direct so maybe earlier than this time tomorrow i'll be extracting this honey and you're welcome to come and keep me company boil corn will be in effect eh? well in my case steam corn i i don't like boiled corn at all i like the steam corn so all the nice sweetness will stay inside the corn yeah man so thanks for watching i don't go and do some more chores now so that's why i can't extract this honey right now i don't have all my containers there to put it in okay folks yeah man ttfn thanks for watching